and as I say, Ken is on the couch watching over us. Okay, rolling the shoulders. Oh, I feel so strange doing the class this way. <laughs> I'm such a creature of heaven. And rolling back. That's it. So since end of March, I've been doing the class facing the other way. I feel like a little bit awkward. <laughs> and rolling the shoulders forward. Very nice. Good. Right. And bounce and swing. Nice relaxing swing. Move the upper body, the thoracic spine. Have a nice twist as you go. Very good. For three, two, and one. Very nice. We're going to do our dynamic warm up today. So you're just going to copy me. Grab your one knee, lifting up to your chest, and change sides. That's it. And change. Nice. We're doing three each side. Try and get a nice solid balance as you go. Hi, Abs. Hi, Layla. Good. And grabbing under. We've just joined the class. Join, and we just started the warm up. Join in. And change. Grabbing under and lift. And change sides. We're doing three each side. And change. One more each side. So I've just put today trying a new backdrop to see if the lighting's a little bit better until I get my light. So you can let me know later if it was too distracting with everything in the background. And change. The only thing that might move is my dog who's lying on the couch. <laughs> Good. And reaching up, knees together, squeeze your bottom. For this one here, you can stay here or we're going to reach forward. Stretch. And coming up, and other side. Reach for your foot, you can stay there or we reach it forward. And up, very nice. Cross your right leg over your left and reach down to the ground. And up, changing sides, opening up in the middle and reach down and open. Lifting up your chest as you open and reaching down. And open, nice. One more this side. One more each side. We're going for three on each side. Reaching down, relax your head. And up and other side. Very nice. Open your legs nice and wide now. You're going to slide your hands down your one side. Switch through the middle and come up your left. And down the left. And repeat. Reach forward as you go around. Reach as far forward as you can. And this way you get a nice stretch of your hamstrings. And up. And down. Good. One more each side. Let's go down the right. Switch from the middle and up. And last time. And up. Very nice. Let's face our right leg. Have your right leg bent, knee over ankle, hands on the inside. Dropping that hip down, but keep your knee off the floor. And we're going to twist, looking up at your hands. And down, hands on either side of your front leg and stretch that leg out. And bend, and change sides. And down, and stretch. Good, one more each side. Reaching up, look at your hands. And down, and stretch back. And last time, this side, reach. Down and stretch that leg. Walk your hands round through the middle to the left side. Bend that left leg. Knee of ankle, hands on the floor. And we're going to stretch, lifting up, twist. Look at your hands. And hands down and stretch that front leg. And bend and change sides. Stretch the other arm. And down and stretch. One more each side. Reach. Look at your hands, down and stretch, bend, and last time, and down and stretch that leg, come around to the middle, hands on the floor, and you're just going to bend and st bend your opposite knees, little side bends, not too deep, just nice and comfortable, good, side to side, let's go for five, four, Three, two, one. Very nice. Walk your feet in towards each other. And curling up. Do one roll up. From here, really tucking under your pelvis, pulling your belly button in, curling up, making the shoulders are down. And 
near your head. Very nice. Okay, grabbing your bands. So we're going to put them around our knees to start with. I'm putting on two just to give a little bit of extra resistance and also a bright color so you can see it. Okay. Right. So we're going to start doing a stepping out squat. So you're going to stand, you're going to step out and back. And out. Let's go. Out. And back. And back. When you squat, your weight must go back. Make sure your weight is through your heels. Tummy pulled in. Step. And back. Shoulders down your back. Lifting your chest. Very nice. And down. Step. Make sure your weight goes back as you squat. Weight through the heels. Nice. Keep going. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Down. And up. Tummy pulled in. And up. Step. Nice. Squat. We've got 10 seconds more. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Our next one, you're just going to do a squat. And lift. Stick with the one side first and then the other. Let's go in three, two, one. You're going to squat back down, lift the right leg and squat. When you lift that leg, make sure you stay up nice and tall. Don't tip your body over. Squat, very nice. Little movement. You can reach your arm up because it keeps your balance. Make sure you don't tip your body. That's it. Have some tension in the band the whole time. So when you bend, there's tension. Nice. And reach. I actually find the reaching up really helps. It gives me a bit more of a connection. Good. We've got 15 seconds. And keep going. Then we're going to change sides. We're keeping the band around our knees for as long as we can. And... Last one, and relax. Have a little rest. Then we're going to change sides. So, make sure you've got your breath. And then we're going to squat. And now I'm lifting my left leg. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Knees out. Make sure your knees stay facing over your second toe. Don't let your knees roll in towards each other. So when you squat, you don't want that. You want to make sure your knees stay facing forward. Nice. Have you pulled in? All the time. We've got 15 seconds. Reach. Then our next one, we're going to hold it down there in a squat. And pulse our knees out. In five seconds. Two. One. Very nice. In our next exercise, we're going to squat down. Make sure your weight is back through your heels. And from here, we're going to hold this one. We're going to pulse out. If this is too uncomfortable, I want you to do a wall squat, baby Barbara. Let's go in three, two, one. Squatting down. Now hold it there. Pulse. Tummy pulled in all the time. Your weight is back through your heels. Nice. And your tummy pulled in. Back nice and straight. And pulse. Keep that squat as low as you can. Squeeze. The squeezing is coming from your glutes, so you're kind of wrapping that thumb around. Tummy in. Nice, we've got 20 seconds. And squeeze. You can feel this. And pulse. Nice. We've got 10. Squeeze. Drop that squat down for the last five. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. Come and lie on your back. Keep the band around your knees. From here, your feet are together. And you're going to lift up and open the knees at the same time. So we're going to lift and open. So it's called a glute butterfly. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. We lift up and open. And down. Open. So you lift your hips and you open your knees at the same time, pushing out against the band. Squeeze and lift. Open the knees. 
Make sure you breathe out, pull your belly button in towards your spine. Still have that tilt in the pelvis. Nice, you've got 20 seconds. Very good. Nice, and lift and open. For 10 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Nice, five, three, two, one, and relax. Very nice. Now the next one, you're going to go onto your side. We're going to do our side clam lift. So you bend your knees, have your elbow directly under your shoulder. Make sure from here that you lift up your side. So I'm not sinking into the floor, I've got a nice strong connection. And from here, we're going to lift and open the knees. So you come up into a side plank and lift. Let's go. And down, tummy pulled in. And down, open and lift. Make sure you have step facing forward. And lift and open. Tummy pulled in. Nice. Band still around your knees. Keep your feet together. So your feet stay together. That's it. So it's just the knee opening. It's like a clam, but with a little lift. We've got 10 seconds. And squeeze. Nice. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Let's change sides. So same thing. So it's a side plank clam lift. So your feet stay together. Your elbows directly under your shoulder. You lift up your ribs. Feet together. And let's go. You lift and open. Tummy pulled in. Your feet are together. Your knees open. Your tummy pulled in. Nice. Lift and open. Tummy in. Phew. And squeeze. Really try and open as much as you can. Nice. Keep going. We've got 20 seconds. And 15. Let's go. Two, 10 more. Tummy pull in. Keep the hips facing forward. And three, two, one. Very nice. From here, you're going to lie on your side. Bend your underneath leg. Turn your foot down towards the floor. So you rotate the hip in. And we're going to go up and down. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. You can relax your head all the way down. Try and keep that tension on the band. Don't take your foot all the way down. Keep it up a little bit. Foot rotated to the floor. Nice, we've got 20 seconds. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Nice, Barbara. Thank you, and I can see you better. And lift for 10. Keep that top leg straight. The top leg is straight. Toe pointed down. Two, one, and lift. 10 sides. Very nice. So try and keep that top leg straight as you can. The underneath leg is bent. This top leg is straight and I turn it down towards the floor. So I rotate my hip in. Let's go. Up and down. Very nice. Keep lifting. You should start to feel it in this like saddlebag area. Woo! Nice. Tummy pulled in all the time. Keep making sure that foot is turned down to the floor. If it's not turned down, you still work. But this way just gets a little bit more into that bum area. We've got 15 seconds. Phew. Then we're going to move the band to around our feet. In 10. 3, 2, one and relax. Very nice. Okay. Take the band and put it around your feet. I'm going to take my one band off. And from here we're going to do side walks. So I'm putting it around the front of my feet. And you're going to do side walks with your knees dead straight. The band is around my feet. Up nice and tall. Make sure your tummy is pulled in. And we're going to keep the hips, the legs straight. And you're going to walk sideways. Make sure when you put your 
feet together that you don't put them right together and you lose tension in the band. So always have tension. Tummy in. Try not to do this with the body. You want to keep your body up nice and tall and we're adjusting. That's it. You can see me better when I'm in front of the couch. Nice. Tummy pull in. Keep the knees straight. Don't bend your knees and try not to rock your body. Perfect. Squeeze your tummy. Squeeze your bow. We've got 15 seconds. That's it. Five. Tummy in. Two. One. Very nice. Right. Hold the band in your hands. We're going to go into a plank. Now from here you can go onto your knees. You're going to put the band around your hands from here. And from here, we're going to be in a plank, either on your knees or a full plank. And you're going to do a row. And then a push up. And then up. And a row. So your band is here. You're going to do a push up. And then a row. When you row, try and have your hands grazing your ribs. Make sure your band, your knees are either on the floor for a full. And you can always grip the band to pull. Right, let's go. In three, two, one. So we're going to do a push up and row. You can do it on your knees. Alternate sides with the row. And push. And row. Very good. Push up and row. Keep going. Make sure whatever you do, your stomach is pulled in. Nice and tight. You can keep your knees down if you need. I want a strong row. And row to your side. Tummy in. Row. Very nice. Down. We've got five seconds. And relax. Very nice. We're going to stand up. Put this around your left foot. So normally when we do the single leg, we do a row with this. But here we're just going to do the single leg deadlift. Leg straight behind you. The band's on my left foot. Right leg behind me. We're going to go down and pulling it up. Let's go. Down. And up. Make sure your stomach is pulled in. Tilt your pelvis posteriorly. And control it. Nice straight line. You're hinging. And up. Shoulder blades pull down your back. Very nice. Hinge. Tummy in. Make sure you don't turn your hips as you bend. Hips face the floor. We've got 15 seconds. Tummy pull in. Nice. Ten. And keep going for another five, three, two, one. Very nice. Now our next one, we're going to keep it there. And you're actually going to hold this position. You can have a chair if you want to. And we're going to do our row in the single leg position. If you want to have a chair for balance, that's absolutely fine. Let's go. You're going to stay in that bent over position and row. You want to bring your elbow past your ribs. Tummy pulled away from the floor. And you balance things. And now my left leg is working super hard. We've got 25 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Nice. And row. Elbow goes back. Try and have that right leg up in the air. 15. That's nice. Tummy in. Ten, three, two, one, and whew, let's change legs. You're going to put the band around the front of your right foot. And again, we're going to hold it in your opposite hand. Tummy pulled in, standing up nice and tall. And let's go. We're going to do the single leg deadlift. Hinge at the right hip and up. So this left arm that's holding the band stays straight. It just gives a little bit of resistance as you come up. Make sure your tummy is pulled in nice and tight. 
and bend. I love how my dog is just fast asleep here on the couch with me shouting in her ear. Hey, Kayla. Nice, you've got 15 seconds. You're really just hinging from that hip. Your tummy pulled in. Keep nice and straight. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Have a little rest. The next one, we're going to hold it there. And we're going to row past there. Okay. Let's go. In five seconds. Three. Two, one. You can hold on to a chair. You're going to row. Your elbow brushes your ribs. Very nice. Rowing it up. Make sure the leg you're standing on is slightly bent. Tummy pulled in. And row. Very nice. Okay, now. Good. And 20 seconds. Keep pulling that elbow back. Make sure your hips are facing the floor. Tummy in, 10. Woo, that right butt is burning. Very nice. Five. Two. One. And come and stand up. Very nice. We're going to go onto the floor, band around your feet. So on the front of your feet, legs up in tabletop. Keep your head flat and we're going to do our single leg stretch. So you're just going to push and pull. You keep your stomach connected and you lift your tailbone. Tummy pulled in, let's go nice and slow. Push and pull. Tummy connected the whole time, don't let your back arch. Very good, lovely control. Keep squeezing. 20 seconds. And then we're going to add the oblique twist. Lift your tailbone. Make sure you remember. Back flat on the mat. Breathing out as you push and pull. For five. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. Hands behind your head. Lift your chin onto your chest. Tummy pulled in. Lift your tailbone. And we're going to twist. Shoulder to knee. Push and pull, let's go. And twist. Very nice. Make sure that as you breathe out, you twist. And your back stays squashed flat on the floor. Very good, let's go. We've done 20 seconds. We've got 25 to go. Lift, make sure your head and shoulders are lifted up. They don't go down in between. Tummy pulled in. 15 seconds. Keep it up. Breathing out. Lift the tailbone. Tummy in. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Keep the bands around your feet and we're going to do mountain climbers. So your band stays there. From here, in a plank, shoulder blades down and back. Step your feet back and we're going to pull it in. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders directly over your hands. And pull. Breathing out as you pull. Knee in. Shoulders down and back. And okay, Kayla. Knee in and breathe out. Tummy in. Shoulder blades down your back. 20 seconds. Nice, keep going, awesome. Make sure you're pulling your tummy away from the floor, shoulders are down and back, keep going. We've got 10. That's it. Five. Three. Two. And one, very nice. Okay. From here, you're gonna kneel on your left, your right leg, left leg in front. You're going to hold the band and we're going to do a row again. So from here, you're pulling back. Your fist graze and your elbow graze your side. Let's go. Tummy pulled in, back nice and flat. You see I'm not rounding my back. I almost got a flat back, tummy in. And row. If the band is too short, you can hold it tighter. That's it. Pulling in. Very nice. Keep going. So 
Are you putting it up? Good. Nice. Keep going for 10. Tummy in. Three, two, one. Very nice. Change hands. The same foot, different hand. Now you're going to do a bicep curl. So I'm resting my left elbow on my left thigh. I stay in this position and I move it up and down. Let's go. Keep your wrist nice and strong. The foot stays the same. Band stays there. We've just changed arms. Now I'm doing a bicep curl. Nice. That's it. We've got 30 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Make sure your shoulders are down and back. Good. And pull. I feel like we need to do a bit more bum just now. We'll get there. And five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. The next one is the same arm. With your back leg, you're going to come up into a, we're going to lunge down, bicep, lift up. So my arm stays straight and I just bend it here, bicep straight arm. Lifting up. You're welcome to use a chair for balance. Let's go. And lift. I want you to squeeze those muscles as you lift up. Straighten both knees. Make sure you come up so your front leg straight as well. Both legs straight. So when you come up, make sure both legs straighten up. That's it. Better. And bicep. And lift. Curl. And legs. Beautiful. Keep your legs nice and tight. We've got 15 seconds. Then we're going to change sides. Nice. And lift. We've got five. We're going to do two more. One more bicep. And lift. And down. Very nice. Let's change sides. So now I'm going to put it under my right foot. My right foot's going in front. I'm going to hold it in my left hand. And we're going to row. Let's row. Tummy pulled in. If you need to add more resistance, just hold the band further down. Pull your abs in. Elbow goes back and it grazes your thigh. Nice. Tummy in. And row. Very good. This is good for our sort of back posture muscles. So good for everyone sitting at a desk. And out. Good. We've got 15 seconds. Oh, this dog is too much. He is fast asleep. For five, three, two, one. Very nice. Change hands. Keep the band on the same foot. Rest your right elbow on your knee and we're going to do our bicep curl. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. <sighs> Breathing out. Make sure you keep that wrist strong. So your wrist and forearm are in one line. I'm going to go back a little bit. You can't see me with the outline of Taylor. <laughs> there we go. And bend. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your tummy. 15 seconds. And then we're going to go into the lunge and bicep curl. Ten. Nice. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Make sure your band is nice and straight. And now from here, we're going to go up. Straighten the legs. Down. Bicep curl. You can hold on to a chair if you need for balance. From here, your arms stay straight as I rise up. The arm holding the band is straight. Let's go. And lift. Straighten both legs. The band just gives a little bit of resistance for the lunge. And bicep. And lift. Nice. And lift. Tummy in. We have we've got 30 seconds. Make sure your shoulders are pulled down and back. Tummy pulled in. I've got a little tilt in my pelvis. So I'm stretching this back hip flexor a little bit because I'm tucking under. And down. 15. 
Okay, shoulders down. We've got 15 seconds. Okay, and then we're down. And keep going, tummy pulled in. Five. Feel the hamstring burn. Three, two, one. Very nice. Let's lie your back. We're going to do our oblique twist again and single leg stretch. Legs up in the air, band stays around your feet. Hands down to start with. And you're going to do push and pull. Let's go. Push and pull. Make sure you lift your abs. Tummy pulled in. Make sure your back is squashed on the floor. You breathe out as you twist. That's beautiful. Keep it going. Push and pull. Keep the tension in the band the whole way. Nice. Very good. We've got 15 seconds. Keep it up. 10. Tummy pulled in. Back flat. 3, 2, 1. And relax. Next set, we're going to add the oblique twist. So hands behind your head. Breathing out as you lift your head and shoulders. Chin goes onto your chest. And now we're going to twist. Let's go. Shoulder to knee. Push and pull the legs. Shoulder to knee. Push and pull. Awesome. Make sure your back is flat on the mat. Your tailbone is lifted. Your abs are pulled in nice and tight. You think of flattening the abs rather than bulging them out. Nice and slow and controlled. Very good. We're nearly there, guys. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Let's put the band around your knees, just above your knees. And come lie on your side. I feel like we need to do a little bit more glute work. So, you're going to lie on your right side. Lift your feet up into the air. Your feet are lifted and we're going to lift our, do our knees. So lift your feet, knees together. And let's go. Open the knees and close. Tummy pulled in all the time. Hand in front of you for balance. And you can rest your head down if you need. Make sure that your hips don't roll back. You want to keep your hips facing forward. Keep those feet off the floor. So your feet are together. Lift it up. Tummy pulled in. That's it. I just felt like we needed a little bit more butt. 15 seconds. We are so nearly done. You've been brilliant. 10. And 5. Squeeze your bum. 4. And relax. Very nice. Let's change sides. Right, lying on your left side, feet together, knees together, knees bent up in front of you, lift your feet. And we're going to open, let's go. You can keep your feet together, both feet are together, lift it off the floor. That's it. Open and closing the knees. So my feet are together, off the floor. Perfect everyone, good. Tummy pulled in. Head relaxed down if you want. And squeeze. Keep those feet up. You're burning those abs. Nice. 15 seconds. That's it. 10. Squeeze. And okay now. 5. 2. 1. Very nice. Let's put the band around your feet. And we're going to do one more set of mountain climbers. Band around your feet. You're going to come, bye Barbara, thank you. You're going to come into a plank. Stepping back and let go. Putting the foot in. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. This is our last step, guys. Do it every day. And pull. Stomach away from the floor. Shoulders directly over your hands. And shoulder back, pull down your back. Breathing out as you put your knee in. 
well done. Phew. Very good, well done guys. If it's feeling too easy, you're doing it wrong. No, I'm lying. You can always use two bands if you want to, to try and make some resistance more. Because you guys are getting stronger. Let's stay sitting. Okay, they're agreed. And we're going to cross your right leg over your left. Leg bent. And wrap your right arm around that left knee. And pulling it in towards you. Try and get the glute down onto the floor. And twist. Kato Green, she says it's time to do very good <laughs> and change sides. Let's change. Oh, my baby. Good. Crossing the one knee, try and get your bum down as the floor. Pull that leg in closer to you. And pull and twist. And Oh, her breath stinks. Shame. Very nice. Let's just roll out the shoulders. Good, guys. So let me know if this backdrop that isn't working for me. I've got to be honest, but that might just be because I'm so used to the old one. Roll your shoulder, roll your neck, chin onto your chest. But by next week, I should have a light. And we'll see how it goes. But let me know if you could see me.